Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details and today it's all about bug splats and how to safely remove them from car paint. I've got two demonstration vehicles, one has found these new additions within the last month and the second hasn't had the bugs removed for several months. I'll be going over the stages you should try in the correct order to remove them. Demonstration number one, a relatively well kept Mercedes C220. In terms of protection for the paintwork, I do believe it's still showing signs of dealer apply protection. Although not great, it should make this bug removal process quicker. As an initial step with all vehicles being washed, first goes on the snow foam or chosen pre-wash, followed with a full pressure rinse and hand wash. If the bugs still remain, which will be the case for the majority of vehicles that haven't been detailed and protected, we are going to need a dedicated bug remover product as a first attempt to remove the bugs. After the initial wash, apply your chosen bug removal product to the affected areas and allow to dwell for around a minute. Although you will need to check the instructions because all products are different. By allowing the product to dwell for a short time, we'll start breaking down the bugs so when we return, depending how long the bugs have been there for, should make them much easier to remove. Bugs are acidic and if left on paintwork for too long they can damage and eat into the clear coat. Not as drastic as bird etchings but there is still a certain level of acid in dead bugs. Hence why a regular maintenance wash and also protection is so important. Using a secondary wash mitt because we don't want our primary wash mitts gunked up with dead bugs I'll apply a little more product to the affected areas, a couple of sprays to the wash mitt then work over the areas thoroughly. At this point if the bugs are being stubborn I'll apply more product and use a bit more pressure on the mitt. If the bugs haven't been allowed to sit on the paint for an extended period of time they should now be fully removed which was the case for this Mercedes but if they aren't there's no need to panic we just need something a little more abrasive. Moving to the second vehicle which I'm pretty sure has never been detailed and has only ever received basic hand polishing, as an initial step which is the exact same we saw for the Mercedes, snow foam, pressure rinse and hand wash, followed with bug removal product and a bit more pressure on the wash mitt. The bugs still remained and are going to require something with a higher abrasion level. I've tried to capture as many bug splats in this before video segment, I don't have the greatest DSLR skill so you will have to bear with me. There is better before and after footage throughout the rest of the video, but as you can see these bug splats have stained the paintwork. Attempt number 2 will be using a clay bar, there are various grades of clay from soft to hard so you will have to determine which one suits the vehicle and bugs the best. I've chosen built hamber, medium clay and water as the clay lube. The bug splats were pretty much dotted all over the front 50% of the bonnet and also the top part of the front bumper, which is where I'll be concentrating on for this video.
clay bar complete and after pulling off various bits of contamination, I'm pretty sure some of which were the bugs, but the stains haven't been removed. If there are any bug guts still there after the wash and bug remover product, the solid particles would have been picked up in the clay. The problem here is that the acidic bug guts really have stained the paint, so upping the abrasion level a step further, we're moving to machine polishing. Using the Rupees LHR15 Bigfoot with a green cutting pad and green cutting compound, I'm going to go over the affected areas. This isn't a machine polishing tutorial, but maybe by watching me do it, you can pick up some visual tips. The first thing they teach you at detailing school is to try the least abrasive combination first. For example, a finishing polish and finishing pad and see if that removes the defects. If it doesn't, move up to the next abrasion level. However, experience told me I will need a certain level of cut to get these stains out. You can consider that first pass to be the test pass to ensure this combination of pad and compound is going to remove the defects. It's good news, the bug stains are removed and the only things that remain are stone chips. I was pretty sure I recorded me machine polishing or cutting the whole bonnet but I don't seem to have any footage on the SD card. So this footage is after the bonnet's initial cut and a 50-50 comparison against the still bug stained upper bumper. You may have noticed the paint is a bit hazy, particularly on the upper bumper part. Obviously, after you cut the paintwork, you need to polish the paintwork. The combination that worked for these defects on this car resulted me in finishing with the Rupees Yellow Pad and Yellow Polish. Two 
The finished results from the two stage machine polish remove the bug stains plus plenty of swirls and scratches. You will no doubt see a few stone chips in the footage, these are not bug splats. Finishing the bug removal process and to make these bugs not able to glue themselves to the paintwork and to make them easier to remove in the future, firstly I'll wipe over the paint using IPA to remove polish oils and residue, then apply a layer of Conuba wax to protect and shine.
Whilst the final few bits of footage roll out, I'll quickly go over the bug removal stages in the order you should try them. Firstly is the standard wash and snow foam. If your car's wax or detailed, then this should do the job. If not, try the bug removal product, and if that doesn't work, try the clay bar. If the clay bar fails, take out the machine polisher and find a combination of cutting or polishing that removes the bug splats. Finally, don't forget to re-wax all offending areas so it's easy for you to maintain in the future. I'm trying to hit 1000 followers on Instagram and Facebook, just search JP Details and you'll find me, although there are links to my social media in the video description below. It will give you the chance to see what I'm up to on a regular basis. As always, thank you for watching, drop the video a like and subscribe if you're not already. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.